In today's pool lesson, we're going to talk about straight in shots. And believe me, there is a lot to talk about. One month ago, I started a raffle for a brand new Lucasi Hybrid Q. At the end of this video, I will finally announce the winner. In this lesson, we will learn a lot about straight in shots. First, we're going to talk about how to aim and make those shots, and in the second part of the video, we will talk about how to play position from straight in shots. Why is it that many players, especially beginners, struggle with straight in shots? Unless you have a problem with your vision, it should be pretty obvious where you have to hit the object ball if you're straight in, full in the face. Therefore, the main problem shouldn't be that people don't know where to aim. But what's the problem then? Look at this example where I miss a straight in 9 and try to analyze what happened. Here's what happened. A straight in shot requires a straight stroke with no English on the cue ball. My stroke here was almost straight. If we draw the straight line on the table, you see that my cue ended up a little bit off. And the other problem was that I accidentally put right hand English on the cue ball. This will cause the cue ball to deflect a little bit to the left, but since my cue was also elevated, the cue ball swerved and hit the 9 ball on the wrong side, and the spin induced throw threw the 9 ball to the left. Those three things just had a tiny impact on the path of the cue ball and the 9 ball, but it still was enough to miss the shot. So a proper technique and being able to hit that center on the cue ball are the main two factors. You can check that if you play straight in shots and stay down after shooting. Check where your cue comes to rest. It should be pointing right towards the pocket. If not, you're having a problem with your technique. And by the way, you should also try this with your eyes closed. This is the best test to see if you're able to shoot straight without using the sense of eyesight to correct anything. And also check if there is any spin on the cue ball. You can do the simple test here where you just have to hit straight into the rail. If the cue ball comes back to your tip, then your stroke was perfect. Do this with different speed as well. Thanks to my patron Maxime for performing this exercise. And now let's talk about the positional aspect of straight in shots. The biggest problem if we end up straight on a shot is that we cannot do a lot with the cue ball. We can just draw or follow, so the cue ball will end up anywhere on this straight line. This means we are in big trouble, because we have to get position for the 9. But there is hope. In pool we can always cheat the pocket. That means on a shot like this, we can aim to the left or the right part of the pocket. Look how much space we have for the 9 ball. We have over 2 ball sizes of margin where we can hit the corner pocket. So even if we're straight in, we can always play to the left or right and create an angle. If the balls are closer to the rails, we can also cheat the pocket, but the effect will get smaller. From here we only have 1.5 ball sizes to cheat. And we also gotta be careful if we hit too hard, because the object ball can wobble out of the pocket. Or if we cheat too little, we can also scratch. So here we would have to hit a little harder, so that the cue ball leaves the natural line later. If you wanna know more about that, check out my video about the physics of the cue ball. Link is in the description. Going back to our example, we see that the balls are on the perfect line to get the biggest effect of cheating the pocket. We have two options. Cheating the pocket to the left or to the right. If we cheat it to the right, the cue ball will take this path. And if we cheat it to the left, the cue ball will take this path. Where the 9 is located, we can use both options. And we also have two options how to execute this shot. The first option is to play it with just follow. That means we have to aim exactly to the left part of the pocket and just follow the cue ball. It will take this path and hit the long rail next to the corner pocket. If we want to go the other way, it will become very tough to get the cue ball all the way up table with pure follow.
so we need supporting left-hand English. The English will fasten the cue while on the rails. It becomes clear if we overlay both shots. We also have this option if we're going our initial way. The only thing we have to be aware of is that the cue will travel more towards the center of the long rail. It becomes more clear if we overlay both shots. The cue ball will head closer to the corner pocket with less English. But I think some of you are may scared of playing this shot with English or don't know exactly how and where to aim. So let's talk about that. It's actually very easy to aim this shot. Pause the video and think about it yourself. If you aim towards the center of the pocket and you apply right hand English, what will happen to the cue ball? The cue ball will deflect to the left. That means it will hit the 8 ball on the left side and the 8 ball will hit the corner pocket on the right side. So all we did was aiming center pocket and the English we added did the whole job for us. Of course, depending on what kind of cue and shaft you're using and how far you're away from the object ball, it will change a little bit. Okay, those were the main things you should know about straight in shots. I hope you've learned something new and if you have any questions, just feel free to leave a comment. And from now on, I will also pick on every video I make a random comment from one of my latest videos and respond to it. Today I picked this comment. Okay, if I'm in training, I don't really mentally prepare. The only thing I do is I take a coffee, I just sit down, relax, think about what I'm going to do in this practice session. Then I just start hitting a few balls, very loose to get in stroke and then I start my training routine. And how do I mentally prepare for tournaments? Well, I actually made already a video for that, so I put the link in the video description. Thanks for your comment. And now, in just a few seconds, we will pick the lucky winner of the brand new Lucasi Hybrid Q. Unfortunately, only one person can win, but I will start some more raffles in the future. The next one will be at 75k subscribers. We got over 2.7k comments, which is a lot compared to the Aramid Poolball set giveaway. And now let's press the magic button. The winner is Harrison Handel. Or Harrison Handel? I don't know, sorry, I hope I pronounced it right. Congratulations, you just won a brand new Lucasi Hybrid Q. And to all the other people, don't be upset. If I could, I would give a Q to every single one of you. Okay guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching and also thanks to my sponsors. And as always, see you at the next lesson. Take care.